So again, welcome to the Driven Online Real Estate Business Seminar. Again, this is the first time that we're doing here in Driven that we are uh, holding an online accreditation since we're taking advantage of our time. We have so much time here in the lockdown. Natin. And again, instead of focusing on the problems, yes, there are a lot of challenges. We want to focus on what's good or the good that is happening or what opportunities that we can have. And I acknowledge you for watching this video and attending this, this webinar because you really want to spend your time wisely and maybe grow yourself and prepare yourself kung paano ka ba kikita ng maganda rito sa, sa, sa negosyo na to, sa opportunity na to. Right. So again, we call real this this is as a real estate business, not just being an agent. No, I really ngayon pa lang, I really wanna uh, differentiate yung mindset na pagiging ahente lang sa pagiging negosyante. And and when you join Driven, I want you to think that this is a business wherein you can really make good money, di ba? Sa lahat naman tayo gusto magkaroon ng negosyo. Bakit ba maganda tong real estate? And so uh, first and foremost. Um, I want to address the current situation we're in. We're, we're really in a crisis, global crisis. Sabi nga nila, probably global recession already. So, and I never thought this will happen in my lifetime na 30 days, maybe more, nasa bahay lang, di ba? Parang sa movie lang natin napapanood yan na ganyan nangyayari. And um, I never thought something like this will happen. But it did, and ang malupit pa dito, hindi lang siya sa Philippines, but the whole world is in lockdown. The whole world's, world's, world stopped. No? Of course, there are also good things that are happening, especially in our, in the Mother Earth. It's healing. No? But of course, we cannot, we cannot hide the fact that we are truly affected. So, you know, because of the COVID-19, right, the coronavirus, um, Lives are affected. That's true. You and me are affected. And actually, right now, we're adapting to what's happening. Um, ano pa yung mga fears and effects nito sa buhay natin? Most probably, there is reduction of income. No? Maybe some of you, if not all, have uh, took a hit sa income nila. Um, not all were able to be blessed to do work from home. If you're an entrepreneur, again, if you don't have sales, you don't have income. So, talagang itong pagtigil ng mundo naka-affect to most, if not all people, di ba? So, talagang isa sa major effect nito is reduction of income, if not completely no income at all, di ba? Yun yung challenge, eh. And then, um, another impact nito is uncertainty of job security. Again, um, this will be a chain reaction, eh. Di ba? If companies are affected, businesses, sales will go down, and then the income will go down, and the business income will go down, they have to reduce expenses. And one of the expenses that companies might take a look into is employment, di ba? Yung mga salary. So, I hope none of you will be affected, none of you watching this video will be affected by those things but it's a reality now we are now uncertain the business owners are uncertain about um, the sustainability of their businesses the, the the employees are uncertain about the sustainability and security of their jobs right now so talagang walang walang guarantee in life walang guarantee in life in your reality also the health and public safety of course in your concern nating lahat Uh, dati, wala namang problema kung lumabas-labas ka ngayon. Um, nakakatakot. Ako, once a week, I go to the grocery. Pero every time na pumunta ako sa grocery, it's really, um, it's, a, it's a thing of concern. Di ba? Nakakapanik. Lalo na kung may family ka. And my wife is, um, ano pa, yung buntis pa, yung wife ko. And then, um, I have a two-year-old. Di ba? So, to your old son. Eh, eh, nakakatakot. Mahirap na magkasakit as mahawa pa sila. Another impact of this pandemic is probably your savings will get depleted if not maubos talaga, mabawasan, di ba? Or malaki yung mabawas. 
ganun. Um, and for people who don't have savings, mas lalong challenging, di ba? Uh, there's a lot of already stories who people still need to work and go out every single day because if wala silang kinita for the day, wala silang kakainin. Ganun ka kalala, di ba? So, nakakatakot yan uh, and this really affected all of us and probably lahat tayo nakaka may impact dyan. Kasi wala pumapasok pero meron lumalabas. So, lahat tayo talaga affected ng yung for our savings getting depleted. And then, um, next is mental health. Diba? Yung, yung mental health natin, uh, I didn't think may ganitong issue until a lot, I've seen a lot of posts, especially for people na mag-isa lang sa bahay, ganyan. Um, Siyempre, wala silang kausap eh. Diba? Or kukonti lang sila, ganyan. Ako, I'm blessed to be with my family, with my wife, and with my son. May ginagawa every single day. Alam mo yun, may something really valuable that I'm doing every single day because it's time for my family. But there are some people na probably this the past 20 days of lockdown, the past month has been too long. Diba? And kung ano-ano na iniisip, both in the present and in the future. So, maraming concerns. Um, and of course, this is the reality in, li in life right now. Right? And this is this is the thing, right? Um, we have a bucket, probably in yung savings mo, in yung bank account mo. And marami siyang butas, ganun talaga eh. Marami tayong expenses. And hindi yan natatapos na the more you need, as long as you need to live, ganyan talaga yan, di ba? So there will be bills that need you need to pay. Gumagasas ka ng korente, gumagasas ka ng tubig, at the very least, you have to pay. There's your rent or your mortgage. If you are renting, you have to pay your rent still. If you are, if you have a property, and then nagma monthly ka, kailangan mo bayaran yun, di ba? Kahit pa merong moratorium yan, still you have to pay two months next, di ba? Magka magpapatong yun, ganon. So still, um, yun talaga yung concern. And then you have to eat. So even food, you have to spend, di ba? Ganon talaga. Um, so there are really a lot of expenses and then healthcare. Diba? Magkaubo ka lang, gusto mong bumili talaga kagad ng gamot, magsiponin ka lang. Diba? Gusto mo kagad, gumaling ka. Kasi it's really crazy. No? Nakakatakot, nakaka-paranoid itong um, pandemic na to. That's the reality. And probably you have debts that you need to pay. Diba? So this is really a, a major concern. This is the reality of life right now that's been happening. Yan. Um, ang tanong hanggang kailan mauubos yung yung balde mo. Diba? That tank. If you have a tank. Right? And the question is, what do I need to do? If ever, okay, I, I survived this 30 days. If this went to 60 days, if, the, if, this, is the, if this will go to 60 days or more, um, okay, masustain ko siya. But of course, definitely, may kailangan akong gawin after. And maybe you and me, pareho tayo nang iniisip, ganun din, di ba? Now, kung may ipon ka man ngayon, I'm sure nagalaw yan, naubos yan, o magagalaw yan, kailangan mong mabalikan ito as fast as you can. Yun yung gusto natin mangyari. And the only solution, again guys, is probably ask yourself, how can you bounce back fast? Yun kagad eh, yun yung iniisip mo kagad sa sarili mo eh. No, maybe right now, the reason why you're attending this seminar, you're watching this video, is because you're already thinking. You're one of the few people who are responsible enough to think, okay, what can I do right after? Right? And how can I adapt to the new normal? Because I don't see na pagka-lift ng quarantine, normal na kagad lahat. It will slowly, we will slowly get back up, back up but it will be slow. Hindi siya biglaan ka agad. And I'll tell you why later. Right? But that's what my beliefs are. You cannot rely on the government, even your, your company immediately because things are... Everyone is affected. Right? Everyone is affected. Even the rich countries are affected. So it will trickle down to the Philippines whether you like it or not. So again, what we can do if this is the situation, ang dami nating butas, ang dami nating gastusin, and we're afraid na mauubos yung tubig na yan, is of course, magkaroon tayo ng madagdagan ng, ng tubig, di ba? So, hopefully your job goes back to normal. 
and then may regular ka ulit na source of income. But the best thing talaga is really to add a new business. Yes, if you have a job, your current thing that you're doing right now, the best thing is to add new sources of water or new sources of income. And an additional source. No? Or if you are leaving your app, your, if you plan to leave your recent, a bigger source, meaning kung yari maliit yung kita mo ngayon, and then you see that a bigger business can be possible, at a bigger source of income para mas malaki yung pumapasok versus sa lumalabas. Diba? Maybe, of course, you also want to have investments diba? Na in the future yan. But that's one thing that you need to do. You have to manage your money well and invest and hopefully it goes in and more water pours into your tank or to your pail of water. Right? So that, kasi hindi natin mapipigilan yung paglabas. Hindi mo, alam ka naman, sabihin mo na lang sa pamilya mo, lagi na lang kayo magtipid, di ba? Or wag na lang kayong kumain. Or if you have um, kids, wag na lang muna pumasok sa school. Of course, that's the last resort. But before tayo dumating doon, I always believe it's easier to make more money than to cut your expenses. I will repeat that. It's, it's easier to add and make more money than to cut your expenses. That's what I believe in. Of course, it doesn't mean you splurge gastos ka lang ng gastos, but you can only cut your expenses so much. But you can add income unlimited, infinite yung potential na po pwede mong gawin. Ganon. So, and then hopefully, you are overflowing so that, yes, may outflow ka pa rin. You can add up outflow which is helping, maybe donating and giving tithes as well, going back to your church. So that's the reason why we're doing this seminar is for you to realize that, yeah, and maybe alam mo na rin naman to, that there's a need for a new income opportunity or a bigger income opportunity. And that's what we'll be talking about in this video. All right, so I also want to say that in every adversity lies a big opportunity. Um, and I want to share with you my story um again um i want to share with you my story before i continue to the um to the to the topic or to the slide that i started this business way back 2008 i was a college student back then so nakakatuwa meron nagsabi college student siya ilan ay wala pa kuya um kula lang kula lang Ayan. Um, so I just muted some of you kasi may naririnig ako sa background. Okay, so um, back, back in 2008, I was a graduating student and I'm already looking for opportunities. And little did I know that um, it was a global financial crisis. Sabi ni Nathaniel, I saw, huwag sana katulad ng 2008. Actually, hindi talaga siya katulad. It, this is worse than 2008. That's in my opinion, this um, pandemic this crisis is bigger than the 2008 crisis. That's what I believe in. Um, because before, yes, there's a global crisis, but hindi siya sabay-sabay. Alam mo yun, things balances out. But right now, um, sabay-sabay siya. And I, again, I never thought that when I started in 2008, I was still young back then. I didn't know what's happening. Um, na kakagagaling lang pala ng mundo sa global financial crisis. Started 2007 and then trickled down to 2008. And I joined real estate October 2008. That was the time I was uh, reading Rich Dad, Poor Dad. 2007 yon. And then I got interested in real estate. Maybe some of you. Sino sa inyo dyan yung um, gusto rin magkaroon, mag-invest sa real estate? If you want to invest in real estate, please comment in the uh, section below. I want to know. Yes, from Robert Kiyosaki. And I got interested with real estate. However, I realized if I want to invest in real estate, I need money, di ba? Sabi ko, saan ako kukuha ng pera? Eh, estudyante pa lang ako. Di ba? How will I get that income? So, sabi ko, I want to learn. I have to learn. I have to be an insider in an industry. And true enough, I was invited by a friend online. And then I attended a seminar, something like this. I got... Re I got excited. Sabi ko, okay pala. Ngayon, alam ko na meron na pala akong opportunity. May company pala na pwedeng mag-guide sa akin sa real estate. So that's what I did. So sabi niya, DJ, okay na, excited ka. Pero I really didn't 
really learned a lot pa naman agad sa unang attend. So, sabi niya, DJ, attend ka lagi ng seminar, ng training. Punta ka lagi sa office if you have time so that, you know, you have questions, you can ask us, yung mga mentors dyan. Diba? And doon ka na rin gumawa ng mga ads mo online. So, during that time, you know, I don't have any network. Lahat ng mga kaklase ko, kaibigan ko, either nag-aaral pa or pagka-graduate, kasi they graduated 2008 as well. Ako, 2009 ako gumraduate. So, pagka-graduate, wala pang pera talaga pang invest. So, I didn't really have that network. Wala rin akong family na mayaman na kayang bumili ng property immediately. So, I didn't, I don't have the network. I don't have the market. Right? But, thankfully, there's online. Right? Online selling. So, what I did, I just learned the projects and then started advertising online in real estate platforms. During that time, it was sulit.com.ph. It's the biggest um, and the best website in terms of selling sa, sa Philippines. Right now, there's a few uh, different ones kasi wala na si sulit. Um, but, you know, there will always be emerging websites where you can do this. So that's what happened. And true enough, 2009, I made my first sale January 31, 2009. I, can, I will never forget that. Um, it's a 3.4 million condominium. Hulugan siya. And then, nung kinumpit ko yung kita ko, mga 81,000 pesos for a 21-year-old college student. Student pa lang ako nun eh. Um, or 22 years old. I was a 22-year-old student back then. Uh, yung 81,000, malaki siya. Hindi mo man agad nahawakan yun kasi ang kita sa real estate is hulugan. Diba? Depende kung gano'ng katagal yung down payment and then the loan takeout. Ganon. Pero still, I know with a few days of work, like three, five days of work, I made 81,000. Sabi ko, dito na lang ako mag-spend ng time. So, I true enough, hindi na po ako nakapagtrabaho. I was never employed. I jumped in into the real estate world and I made my first million in one year, in my first year in real estate, 2009, before I had my birthday in November. I, 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 I sent... Um, I sold over 50 million worth of properties during the first year. And I never earned below 2 million a year in real estate for the past 11, 12 years already. All right, so that's how big this industry is. And that's why I want to share this with you. And, you know, as I'm relating in my past experience, 2020, this crisis, it's just, it's just like the 2008. Hindi ko man alam kasi kaalam-alam noon na may crisis pala. So, benta lang ako. Alam mo, hindi ako nag Trabaho lang ako. Excited ako, in fact. And because of that excitement, I'm one of the few who are always working and always active. Right? Actually, before this crisis, like last year, the challenge in real estate is ang daming kalaban. Right? Ang daming buyers, marami rin kalaban. But right now, because of this crisis, I believe some people will stop. And it and it will go back to that because that's how people is when there's a crisis people are slow to bounce back so my question is how fast will you bounce back so going back to my slide i always would always would like to say that in every adversity lies a big opportunity the reason why i want to share with you today is because I believe there's a big opportunity behind this or hidden in this crisis. Um, in some of my interviews and sharing, I, I would say that um, maraming, ruma, maraming yumaman after the war. Alam mo yun, sila John Gokong Wade. Dito sa Philippines, di ba? Sila, uh, sila Henry C. Ganyan. And all these tycoons started post-war or during the war nagsisimula na silang mag And when everything normalized, nauna na sila eh. Nakaset up na sila and they had the right habits. So they are striving pataas. So this is just like that. No? Hindi siya war na gera na ganyan. But you know, it's like a cold war. Right? Marami nangyayari in between nations that we don't really understand but it's really happening. And there's a big opportunity behind that if you will only see. And here in real estate, I know that this is one of the best industries where you can enter into. So, bakit ba real estate business 
malaki yung kita rito. Tapos nakakatulong ka pa sa nation building ng Philippines. You know, still, real estate is the barometer of any industry. Um, and basta maganda ang setup ng real estate sa Philippines still because Filipinos would still love to live here in the Philippines. No, In a way, during crisis, we will still be stable because hindi, pag, kahit umalis yung mga foreigners, marami pa rin may iwan na tao dito so, sa Pilipinas. That's one way to, to explain that. And pag maraming tao, maraming kailangan ng bahay. Yun. Also, when you're doing this, when you're in this industry, as a real estate seller, you give peace of mind to people. Um, malaking decision yung bumili ng bahay. So, when you sell a property, hindi ka ahente. You're actually a service provider wherein giving these people a help to make a decision. Ang hirap din kasi magtingin na magtingin ng bahay pa ulit-ulit na lang. Imagine that. Eh, nakakaubos ng oras din yun. Um, kami na lang, nung naglipat kami ng bahay, maghahanap kami ng bagong bahay to rent, because I'm I'm renting. I have properties, but I'm also renting. Um, di ba ang here? It will take time pa balik balik ka. Ano talaga yung gusto mo? Ganyan na kaubos yun ng oras. Um, hindi namin trabaho yun. Hindi ko trabaho yung pumunta at tumingi ng bahay every day. So ganon din yung mga clients. So when you help your clients decide and finally buy a house, it gives them peace of mind and they can go back to their normal life, di ba? This business also gives flexibility of time. A lot of people who are earning in this business are actually doing this part-time. Maraming successful in real estate na part-time. Marami rin kasing full-time na full-time nga, I mean, walang ibang ginagawa. Kaso talagang walang ginagawa. Hindi rin ganun kasipag. So, hindi ka rin makakabenta. So, it's not really about full-time or part-time, but how you use your time, most specifically in this industry. Um, you will grow as a person. Marami rin training dito. So, and real estate has been deemed as a profession already. It's, uh, it's under PRC already, the Professional Regulatory Commission. Right? And, of course, most importantly, it's a rewarding business. Um, again, negosyo siya. Yun nakikita ko. Kasi, you're like partnering with the big companies. Ganito yan eh. Parang maging negosyo ka, di ba? Maganda rin may partner ka. If gagawin mo siyang solo, kailangan puhunan mo lahat, effort mo lahat. But for real estate, in the reality is, puhunan nila. Puhunan ng mga developers like SM, Ayala, DMCI, Philinvest. Just big developers. Sila nagkatayo ng bahay. Magbebenta ka lang. You just market and you get your share of the income. Diba? So, ang ganda niyang tignan. Kasi kung solo mo lahat, puhunan mo lahat. But for this, sila bahala. Magmamarket ka lang. You will just do the sales part. Ganun din naman. Lahat naman ng negosyo kailangan ng benta. But, you know, again, I would understand there's looming questions ngayon. No? Maybe you have questions in mind about property. Let's address that. The first is, DJ, will there be a property crash after this pandemic? Um, for the Philippines, most importantly, I will answer that. I believe, and this is my opinion, I believe there will, be, there, there will not be a crash. It will not be a crash. But prices will go lower. Um, yes, I believe that real estate prices will go down, if not drastically, at least a bit, because there will be some people who needs cash. Um, yun nga, nagalaw yung savings nila, o manapalaki yung gasos nila. So one way for them to liquidate their assets is selling their properties para magkaroon sila ng cash for whatever reason, like health reasons or panggalaw, ganyan to restart their business, kahit nang negosyante. Diba? Or, yun nga, um, hindi na nila kayang bayaran. There will be foreclosures as well. Um, there was a post by Jan Mangun um, that I saw that in the US, about 30%, there will be a 30% rate of mortgage uh, problems or non-payment of mortgage. So, there will be foreclosures at least 30%. So, kung mangyayari sa US, malaw mangyayari rin dito sa Philippines. Because, again, cash is king ngayon. So, sometimes, kesa ibayad ko ng property, magpagkain ko na lang. Parang ganyan. No? So, um, 
or for example, yung iba, hindi naman sila doon nakatira, investment lang nila, sige, hindi ko na lang muna babayaran. So, with that, there will be some supply, law of supply and demand. Pag bumaba yung demand, tumaas yung supply, bababa yung price. Diba? So, there will be, a, I think, bababa yung price ng Philippine market, but I don't see a crash happening. Yun. So, that's my opinion. Um, what happens if prices go down? Again, this is my point of view. It's good for us, the sellers, because there will be eventually a bigger market. Um, in reality, for the past two to three years, I'm pissed and I'm disappointed because prices went so high. Prices of properties biglang tumaas ng sobrang bilis because of train and because of a lot of um, optimistic people in property. Um, like yun eh, mga nakabili nung, nung noon, ibibenta nila lang mataas ngayon. Gusto nila mabenta nila lang mataas. And then, dahil hindi naman nila nakikita magkakaproblema, ayaw nila ibenta ng mura. Parang ganun. Maraming pera ang Pilipino, hindi nila kailangan ng pera. Ganun yung nangyari. So, tumataas yung prices. Um, developers, ang mamahal ng benta nila, siguro dahil yung mga loting na bibili nila, mahal na rin. Dahil yung mga landowners, again, wants to ride the wave of the real estate industry dahil nagtataas yung pataas sobra yung real estate market since 2008 hanggang 2019 for the past 11 12 years umakyat yung prices um they want to be part of that diba so ayun nilang basta ibenta ng mura gusto nila mahal din so pag nabili ng mahal yung property pag tinayo at binenta mahal lalo ganon so actually it's good for people who will invest in property now, when when and kung nyari, wala ka pang property ngayon and you want to buy in the next one, two, three years, maybe five years, maybe you will get it a better price compared 2019 prices na sobrang taas. Ganon. So, and as a seller, marami kang lalong mabibentahan. ba? Kasi the real estate, real estate market somehow slowed down. Now, our company even had problem in sales last year dahil medyo mahal na talaga and nalilimit yung market doon eh. So, sa pagbaba ng presyo, mas marami ulit mga ka-afford, mas marami ulit agents and sellers nakikita. No? So, ang tanong, do you wanna be part of it? Right? So, yun. Kung hindi naman siya bumaba, it continues to stay high, mas malaking commission, ibig sabihin. Mas konti man yung benta mo, pwedeng mas malaki pa rin yung kitae mo. No? So, Yun yung maganda rito sa industry natin. When pag bumaba yung prices, you can sell more. Mas kikita ka pa rin. Pag tumaas yung prices, maybe you will be selling less. Pero mas malaki yung kita mo kasi naka-base ka dun sa price. Ganun. So, and DJ, maybe the next question is which properties will be greatly affected because of this crisis? I would like to believe, um, again, the, the mid-prices. Affordable prices will still be stable because people need houses. Ganyan. But the, the, the sector, the property sector in the mid-prices na nag invest gusto bumili lang for investment, pero hindi pa ganun karami yung pera nila ng mga investors, probably bitawan nila yung property nila na yun or hindi na muna sila bumili. Ganon. People in the ultra-rich, they will always have money. Ganon. So medyo mid to high mid ito yung magiging affected. Yung mga, yes, negosyante, may pera sila, but probably affected yung business nila. So maybe they cannot also pay for the property. So some of the properties na medyo mahal, pero hindi yung sobrang mahal, will might also get affected. Ganun. So mid to high mid. But the affordable housing sector and the socialized housing still will always be there, no matter what. Diba? So yun. That's my um, insight when it comes to this questions. So I hope I answered some of your questions. So now, let's move forward and see why this is a good time to join the real estate business. Unang-una, may housing backlog talaga tayo sa Philippines. It is estimated to grow up to 20, ng 2013, ng 12.3 million units. So meaning, may nangangailangan ng 12.3 million na bahay, 12.3 million na pamilya o nakatao na hindi pa sila nakakabili ng bahay. Yun yun. Bakit we're still in a growing population? Uh, ang maganda sa Philippines, ang baba na median age natin, I believe it's around 23 years old. And we just entered the economic 
window, the demographic window, wherein sabi noon, study na yon, from 2015 to 2050, 5-0, paakit ang economy ng Philippines. So, because of that, dahil bata tayo, bata yung average age natin. Because of that, these are the people who would grow their um, their families. Ganon. So, they would need houses to live in. Yan. So, it's either buyer talaga or investor na magpaparenta. Either way, we need houses to live in. Tourism still, umaakit pa rin naman ang tourism ng Philippines. Of course, ngayon, it's greatly affected. This year will definitely be low. But, of course, next year will still go back to that. Diba? Um, hopefully, the Department of Tourism will do a good job to kickstart our tourism. Um, but kasama rin kasi dyan yung mga, yun nga, mga foreign investors na nandito sa Philippines that they're seeing that the Philippines um, are, you know, a growing economy. It's a growing economy. OFW still, um, one of the major drivers of the growth ng Philippines. Kung may kilala kang OFW, mayroong kang kliyente. Although, of course, I believe some of them will might lose jobs or magkaroon ng trouble in terms of income. Still, hindi naman yan lahat. So, second priority ng OFW is property after the after gadgets no so most if not all would want to have their own property BPO paakyat pa rin naman sa Philippines although i'm quite concerned because if the companies abroad are affected and they need to lay off maybe tatamaan yung Philippines din at magbawas din ng trabaho rito i don't know maybe or they would dun sila magbawas dito sila magdagdag i don't know so it remains to be seen di ba uh, kasi mas mura yung workforce kaya nga naka-outsource eh. so kung mas mura pa rin dito compared doon baka if they want di ba dito sila magdagdag or at least makip tayo dun sila magbawas we still don't know but definitely it will still take a hit at least by 2020 ayan infrastructure development hindi naman titigil yung gobyerno sa pag build so because of that a lot of different areas are being improved hindi na lang metro manila so mm, maaka recover ng philippines because of that no marami pa rin naman tao sa pilipinas and also yung market natin ngayon hindi tayo basta speculator lang na gustong bumili ng mura tapos uh, ibenta ng mahal in fact yun nga kahit nga mahal binibili yung property kasi gusto talaga magkaroon ng property ng pilipino Right. Um, and capable na ngayon dahil maraming OFWs, maraming magaganda yung kita, may BPO sector, unlike before, nakokonti yung trabaho at opportunities. Maraming opportunity ngayon sa Pilipinas, so mag-benefit din yung property sector dito. Um, ito, nagkukwituha kami ng kaibigan ko, sabi niya, DJ, hindi masyado mag-efektuhan yung Philippines sa mga, yung hindi ganun karami siguro, katulad ng US na 30% yung mag- fail sa mortgage nila dahil mas strict yung approval ng mga banks natin. And I believe in that as well. Mas mahigpit yung mga banks natin dito compared abroad. And it works to our advantage during crisis. Ganon. Um, si pag-ibig niya dyan pa rin, wala silang ibang trabaho kundi magpautang, di ba? And sobrang dami nilang pera. Ayun. So, we're in, kulang na nga yung umuutang sa bahay para sa bambili ng bahay. Ito yung reality, ya. Kaya sila nagpapautan ng iba. Mayroon na silang ibang program ngayon, di ba? Yung MP2 ba yun? Ganun. So, di ba? Or mag-save. Hindi pala nagpapautan. Mag-save ka sa kanila naman. Tapos bibigyan nila ng return. Ganun. So, marami silang pera. And marami pa rin gustong mag-projects na pwede nilang ponduhan. Ganun. So, because of this, uh, quasi um, institution, quasi government institution, malaking tulong to for our industry as well. Pag-ibig fund is one of the biggest, or has one of the biggest funds in our country. And I would like to believe na kahit mahal, lagmahal tayo over the past three years, mura pa rin tayo compared to our neighboring countries. Right? So, um, compared to Hong Kong, Malaysia, Singapore, di ba? Ang laki ng diferensya ng prices natin dito. If people can buy there, why can't they buy in the Philippines? So, yun. So, pag-usapan naman natin bakit si Driven, how can Driven can help you? And yeah, sino ba si Driven Marketing Group as a company? 
why choose us our as your partner to you know to enjoy your life after the lockdown um we're 10 years in the real estate business we started may 2010 and we're turning 10 years next year next month right our main office is in mandaluyong and we have that website drivengroup.com.ph uh, we also have a facebook page where some of you saw some of our advertisements as well you can follow us in facebook at driven marketing group Inc. we have created over 80 millionaires and counting maybe we lost count ng baka mas marami na rito um, but definitely this is also an, a company wherein created a lot of success stories moving forward and you know our vision is that we are a global player in the property marketing management and development industry we're not just here to sell properties but we want to be developers as well um, so play in a different field in real estate and we will be able to do that by empowering you our driven individuals we want to train you to be the best so that you can serve our clients which is uh, the developers and the buyers Right. And in the process, you will be building your dreams. Of course, dapat galinga mo siempre. Wala namang no, no such thing as free. Diba? Our core values is being determined because you have to be determined in achieving personal growth. And I congratulate you for spending time ngayon kasi you want to grow as a person. Also, by being responsible, dahil servicio ang trabaho natin dito. And being innovative in providing solutions, hindi basta kung ano lang yung sinabi or yung initial natutunan mo before yun lang yung pwede. We can always be innovative and flexible, versatile in any given situation. Yun yung next core value natin. And at the end of the day, dapat you have an entrepreneurial mindset. Because again, real estate, the only way you will be successful here in real estate is you see this as a business. Um, ngayon pa lang, I will really address that hindi to extra income. If you're joining Driven because extra income lang yung iniisip mo, pwede naman. Makabenta ka ng isa, dalawa in a year. Malaki na rin yun. No, kumita ka ng 30 to 100,000 in one year. Additional income, extra income nga yun. But you know, this is more than that. People earn millions every year here. If only you would want to, kaya mo rin yung gawin. So our focus areas is in Metro Manila. We operate mainly in Metro Manila. Um, and we also have projects in Cavite, Laguna, and Bulacan. These are the four main areas that we are marketing. We are slowly building again in Cavite, Laguna, and Bulacan because mainly for the past year or, or two, we focus on Metro Manila talaga. Ganon. Uh, kasi nandito yung maraming projects. Masyado nilang kasing malayo yung ibang projects ng Cavite, ng Laguna, and ng Bulacan. So we're slowly... Um, looking into the good projects in those areas, there's quite a few, probably five to seven projects that we have. Ayan, na uh, gusto natin tutukan. Marami namang options, but the key here kasi is focus. Also, we have branches in Pampanga, Batangas, and Rizal. If you are situated in these areas, we can, uh, we can connect you to the branch heads of Pampanga, Batangas, and Rizal areas. Meron silang parang separate group na nag-evolve. Ganyan. You can still sell, but kasi dito, we want you to focus in a certain area para hindi ka naman sabog na sabog. Ang hirap din, imagine, di ba? Baguhan ka na nga. Ang dayong pang iniisip. Di ba? Maganda lang, nakafocus ka. Ganon. So, paano kumita kay Driven? Maybe you you are asking. Um, Meron tayong apat na ways ng negosyo rito. No? We have what we call project selling. That's what we'll be discussing for today. And also, um, meron tayong FSBO or for sale by owner. Kung may mga tao nagpapabenta, we can also cater that. Pwede ka rin maging listing agent. Tagakuha ka ng mga listing nagpaparent or nagpapabenta. Right? And pwede ka rin maghanap ng gustong mag-lease or mag-rent. Ganyan. So, but we're focusing on project selling. So, um, so this is our commission rate. Um, by attending this workshop and this orientation, um, you're entitled to 2% commission. And then for the third uh, and succeeding sales, 2.5% yung commission mo. Ngayon, um, we want to give higher commission rate. You, you can, dito sa, if you become an official, official member, 
you will start with 2.5%. Paano yun? We, there's a driven passport. You just need to complete that passport. Parang yun yung pinaka-training guide mo so that we know that you're really committed here. Once you finish that, 2.5% ka kagad in your first two sales. And for your third sale onwards, 3% ka from the total contract price, less all the taxes. So ano ba yung passport na yan? Simple lang siya. Ito lang yung mga laman nun. You attend a PKS or a product knowledge seminar um, studying yung project na gusto mong ibenta. Also, you attend a site orientation. You visit that project. No? Kahit na kailangan may, may proof ka ng picture dun sa project na yun. Ganun. Or dun sa gusto mong puntahan na project. Also, you need to have a meeting with your broker either one-on-one -on -one or one in a small group or kahit ito, Zoom call diba or fb video call ganyan um mahalaga magkausap kayo because your broker will be your leader and will uh kasi kung, kung sino yung nag-invite sa inyo ask them kung sino yung broker mo um kasi sila yung magagay sa inyo magbibigay sa inyo ng direction they know better start kayo magaganda mag-focus and then if you have questions once in a while they will also guide you yon number four, we have we want to see if you have one property ads so si one property ang gumawa niyan kasi is si RJ David, which is the founder of sulip.com.ph as well. So we are partnering with them because we've been with them. Ako, I'm a member of Sulit since 20, 2007. So we know these people. And they started a, a property portal that's called One Property. And we are looking to, to make this the number one property, property portal in the Philippines. Um, so, dapat ngayon pa lang inaaral muna siya. So, we want to see if you have ads in one property. That's one of the requirements. At least three ads for your top three projects. And then, you create a Facebook page as well. Papakita mo lang din yan sa amin. And then, you attend one, at least one driven trends. We have a monthly assembly. Um, may special training din dyan. Napaiba-iba every month. So, you can attend actually monthly. And then, we give updates. So, gusto namin maka-attend ka kahit isa. By completing these things, even wala ka pang benta, um, you can already be promoted to that regular or to be an official member of Driven. And kasi nakita ka namin ng effort and talagang gusto mong pumunta. You know, although yes, we can do this business online, uh, iba pa rin syempre yung nag-visit ka ng site, di ba? Nag-attend ka ng seminar, ng training, ganun. Yun yung mahalaga eh. Diba? Um, Nag-effort ka rin talaga. Kasi ang hirap magbenta na hindi mo nakita yung project. Ang hirap magbenta na hindi mo alam yung mga details. Ganun. In fact, you have to train more at least five times no? na nakakapunta-punta ka ng project para somehow makabisado mo man lang siya. Ganun. Bakit din si Driven? We are famous because of this assisting system wherein, kunyari, hindi ka pa pwede or may ginagawa kang iba, let's say may pasok ka, biglang may gusto magpa-tripping, gusto mag-view ng unit or ng property, pwede mo siyang ipasa to someone na, na full-time or mayroong time on a weekend, ganyan, nasamahan niya si, si client, and then magkakaroon, magka-split kayo sa commission. The usual is 1.5%. Kunyari, siya na lahat, nag-tripping, siya na rin bahala mag process ng documentation because there's a lot of documents need to be processed right after reservation. Hindi lang kasi hanggang reservation ng trabaho natin. So usually, kung 3% ka, tig 1.5% kayo. 1.5% sa'yo as a seller and then 1.5% dun sa assisting seller. So on the other way around, pwede kung ikaw naman yung maraming time or kabisada mo yung project at maganda yung project na yun, marami nagpapa-assist sa'yo. So pwede kang kumita kahit hindi mo client. Parang ganon. So, there are these are different rules. I wanna I don't wanna go through each and every one, but basically, um, ito lang yan. Kung nagpakita ka don with appearance or kung sino nagprocess ng documents yun yan. If you have questions later, I will cater. Dun ko dalang sa sa guten. Yan yan. So, ito yon. No kung yare one million yung um yung project, and then ang commission rate is three percent. Let's say wala mo nang tax sa thirty thousand nakita, tig fifteen thousand kayo. No kung Ikaw, siya na lahat yung nag-tripping, siya na rin yung nag-ayos ng documents. No? Kung may other cases naman, of course, lesser yung assisting rate. Maximum of 1.5%. Okay. Pag-usapan naman natin yung role mo sa business na to. Um, tignan natin.
Ayan. Unang-una, sa step one, nagre-reserve ng unit. No? Pag natripping mo na, again, uh, tignan natin yung documentation process. Pag natripping mo na si client, ops, balik tayo ng konti. Pag nakita na kayo, ayan, so, at nagustuhan niya yung project, kasi sinamahan mo siya, nag-reserve siya ng unit. Ayan, yun yung step one mo. Uh, hindi pa po doon natatapos ang lahat. Di ba? Yun. Um, kailangan within 30 days mo submit niya yung mga documents. Kasi syempre, pag nag-reserve, hindi pa naman po agad kompleto yung dala niyang dokumento. Minsan, ID lang yung dala niya. Ganyan. Or may mga, dapat pag umatan ka ng PKS, usually may mga tinasabi ng developer ko ano yung required documents na kailangan. But usually, provided yun nila, tapos ID ng buyer mo, dapat meron yun. And of course, pang-reserve. Pang and then there will be a list of requirements provided within 30 days. Dapat makomplete na yun. Pag nakomplete niya na yun, and let's say tapos na, nabayaran na yung down payment, tsaka na isasubmit yung mga documents niya sa banko kung, or kay pag-ibig kung saan man niya nag, nag, mag, mahungutang or maglo-loan. Ngayon, kung two years to pay yung down payment, pag nag-submit kayo today, kasi ngayon nag-reserve, after two years po, hihingi po ulit siya ng updated documents. Kunyari, yung mga proof of of employment, ganyan, payslip, certificate of employment pala, kailangan ng updated. So, wag pong mainis yung buyer nyo kung magsasubmit ulit kasi ganun talaga. So, kailangan nating silang alagaan, i-remind. Ayun. Pag nasubmit na po yung documents niya sa financing institution at okay siya, kompleto na, naglalabas ito ng letter of guarantee si banko or ma-approve yung loan or sometimes hanggang ma-loan take out. Yung meaning na bayaran na ng banko yung developer dun sa inutang ng buyer. Pag okay na, pwede na makalipat. So, may tinatawag na punch listing. Bago lumipat, check mo muna yung unit kung may sira, ganyan. Ano yung gusto mo pang i-repair? You have one chance before mo i-accept, before mo tanggapin yung susi. So, pag okay na lahat, pwede ka na mag-move in. And si agent, nakakakuha ng full commission uh, upon moving in or upon loan takeout man lang. No? Kahit dun sa step 4 man lang. No? So, nagkakaroon ng partial-partial yan kung depende sa developer. Pero meron ng ilan na kailangan ng loan takeout bago mo mabuha yung full commission mo. No? So, depende yan. But then again, I wanna tell you na yan ang trabaho natin dito. Hindi tayo pag nag-reserve, kikitahin mo na kakagad lahat. Kasi pag nag-back out, wala rin naman pamabayad yung developer sa'yo. So, role talaga natin. Alagaan natin si client para ma-make sure masubmit ng document, hindi masayang yung pera niya, makalipat siya. Nandun yung fulfillment as a real estate seller because you know na tulungan mo talaga yung kliyente mo magkaroon ng magandang bahay. Yung bahay para sa kanya. Parang ikaw din pagbibili ka. Anong requirements to be part of the event? Simple lang. Pinakamahalaga yung TIN. We need your TIN for your commission. And then valid IDs. And then your NBI clearance. We're, uh, it's really important. Kailangan makomply mo yan. Uh, and then, yun nga, interview with your assigned broker. And if you are... Of course, for PRC requirements, you have to be at least second year college level. Yun yung requirement niya para talaga sa PRC. Ganon. Ano bang advantages ni Driven? Bakit maganda kay Driven? We have a physical office. Um, I've heard a lot of stories. Meron siyang kaibigan broker or ahente. Nagpasok daw siya ng benta doon. Tapos nung may commission, naging niya na makita. Ganon. So sayang yung effort. Diba? Sayang yung nirefer mo na buyer. Ganon. Pero kay Driven, hindi ka naman namin matatakbuhan or hindi ka namin tatakbuhan. Because we have an office, we're an institution. No? Kung lumipat man kami ng office, may opisina pa rin. Ganun. Kasi required yan by law. For any broker to operate, dapat may opisina. Na ganun yung tatandaan yun. Ganun. Meron din tayong mga tripping vehicles to support you, especially outside Metro Manila. We have different schedules. Um, we have innov innovative training and development here in Driven. We have different incentive programs, including trips abroad. We have different company events. Yan, mga outing, um, mga sports fest, etc. You have your young and dynamic leaders. We're, we've been 10 years in Driven and more, ako, more than 12 years in the industry. And every sale you make, you contribute to the Driven Foundation because once, in, once a year, at the very least, we have our, some, some of our activities. Our foundation is um, registered, duly registered dyan, and then we conduct different activities. It's most Importantly, we're focused on schools yun, sa mga bata. But we, it, it won't um, hinder us from helping other uh, people as well. So my question is, do you see yourself as part of Driven? Diba? With all these things na kinuwento. If yes, 
please comment in the comment section no if you see yourself and if you're excited to be part of driven kindly comment down in the comment section below and my question is do you want to earn about 30,000 to 150,000 every month this is the average income of a an active real estate seller 30,000 to 150,000 that's um, that's the average income. If that's what you want, you just need to sell 1 million to 5 million every month. So, sinabi mo, DJ, ang baba naman yan. Yes, that's true because there are properties worth 10 million, 15 million, 20, even 40 million. Um, our biggest sale, I would like to believe, is around 68 or 70 million. Diba? Um, may, may ganun na ka. Ay, may nakabenta ng 100 million before. Right? So, yung 1 million to 5 million a month is really doable. So, Kailangan lang consistent ka. Hindi yung 1 million, 5 million, one time. Or paminsan-minsan. So I wanna share with you some success stories. I wanna see some um, some, some people here as well in this list. Tignan ko kung sino yung active. Hindi nila alam to, pero pakukwentuhin ko yung iba. Um, but you know, first and foremost, masaya kasi yung mga agents, masaya yung agents and driven kasi they're able to, yes, make good money, but more importantly, helping other people achieve their dreams. Lahat naman tayo pangarap magkaroon ng bahay. So that fulfillment of helping them achieve their dreams is really something money can't buy. Also, I want to share with you before I call someone, I want to share with you yung um, some of the top earners. I just checked some of the list. Merong seller na join ng 2013. Last year, kinita niya more than 2 million. And then there's another one na join ng 2017. 1.7 million yung kinita niya last year. Um, and these are checks, ha? Hindi to yung benta tapos commissionable pa. Ito talaga na checkehan. Ayun. Pumasok sa banko nila. Meron din nag-join ng 2012. Meron siyang 780,000. This person is doing this part-time. Meron pang ibang negosyo to. And then there's 2016. Nag-join 741,000. Ito talaga sobrang part-time na to. As in, pa isa-isa, dalawa lang binibenta in a year. Pero big properties, no? 40 to 80 million mga binibenta niyan. Ganon. So, um, while he's working, hindi nga maka-attend minsan ng mga even company trips abroad. Yan, sa sobrang busy pero malaki yung kinikita. And also, just a new seller 2018. Nag-join siya late 2018 and then 2019 dun siya nag-boom. Siya yung top seller namin last year actually. Hindi pa na niya nakakomisyonan yung karamihan but from some of her sales, kumita na kagad siya ng 617,000. And so, um, ibig sabihin, malaki talaga yung kita rito. I just handpicked some of the uh, the reports na nakita ko. Yan, yan yung um, potential dito sa industry na to. So, gusto mo rin bang kitain yan? If yes, please comment down below. Also, before I, as I continue, I wanna, I wanna ask some people not to share. Diba? Si Ellen, Ellen, meron ka bang video? Okay, unmute kita, Ellen. Ellen, meron ka bang video? Tignan nga natin, Andy. Teka lang ha. Nahihiya yata si Ellen. Tignan ko kung sino pwede kong makausap dito. There are some agents who are watching. So I wanna see kung sino yung pwedeng makakakwentuhan natin dito. Si Gloria Di Castro ba to? Glo! Tita Glo! Unmute kita yan. Tita Glo. Okay. Sige, kamusta? I'm okay. You're okay. Sige, kamusta dyan sa inyo ngayon? Um, ahim eh. Hindi ka lumalabas. Walang tao sa labas. Walang tao sa labas. That's good. Sige, stay yes. healthy, no, tita. So, si tita, uh, again, um, of course, quite of age na. Ang pag pero maganda dito kahit uh -huh. ganun. I think she's a retiree na rin. Um, yeah. Learned online. So, wala tayong rason para hindi tayo makabenta online because Tita Gloria is selling online. So, 
Um, eh maganda rito no even the kumbaga, the, the life after your career meron pa ring nangyari because of driven. So can you share a bit how driven has helped you enjoy life most importantly during your stage especially stay strong parang ganyan and then kumita na rin as well. So konting kwento naman. Oh. Ano yun? Uh, ano yung nag spend ka to enjoy life na hindi mo nababawasan yung savings mo dati. Parang ganun. Parang at this age, nakaka-earn ka pa ng pampasaya sa buhay mo. Tapos hindi mo nagagalaw yung savings mo. Ganun. Na hindi That's mo good. akalain. Ganun. That's good. Nag-enjoy ka naman to be part of Driven. Yes, very much. I learned a lot. So you learned a lot, no? So that's good. Yes. Uh-uh. I never expected I can. Wow. Yeah, so maybe thank you for that that I don't know, that that share. Maybe yes. um maybe you're thinking some of you are thinking baka hindi ko hindi ko yata kaya to ganyan. You know, it's just all about mindset eh. No, kaya nga si Tita Gloria yun nga, hinisip niya nung una, baka hindi ko rin kaya, I never expected. Pero alam, alam mo, tuloy mo lang, huwag ka lang bibitaw. Kasi pag bumitaw ka talaga, walang mangyayari. It was never easy rin naman. And I like your share na, yun nga, may mga savings hindi nagagalaw because yung kinikita ng driven, enough na to cover your needs. So, yun. Thank you, Tito Glo. Thank you. I'll call, okay. I'll mute you again. I'll call someone else. And, sino po bang nandito? Sinet. Kamusta, Net? Hello, sir. Good afternoon po sa lahat. Hello, good afternoon, Net. Kamusta na kayo lahat? <laughs> Oo nga. Yeah, kamusta kayo dyan? <laughs> okay naman sa passing. Uh, pang ano na ba? Yung... 28 days. Nakabigay... So, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Meron na kaming ano... Masyadong uh, sikat ngayon si Biko Soto. <laughs> Kasi yeah. pang... <laughs> ano, di ba? <laughs> Pero yung... Kaya, sir, di ba pasig ka din? Yeah, pasig din ako. Pasig din ako. Yeah. Kami pang third wave na nung binigay ng Wala. City Hall. Yeah. Huling, huling, Wala Malapit dito. lang Wala. kasi. Alcohol lang, alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Sa amin pang third na. Sige, that's good. So, kamusta? I just, wanna, I just want you to ask, I just want to ask you how Driven has helped you in terms of your life, no? in your finances, probably, are you enjoying what you're doing? Ganon. Uh, is, uh, Sir, so, uh, before talaga, full-time mama ko talaga. Okay. Kasi I have two boys. Although medyo malalaki na, kaya lang, syempre, full-time pa rin ako as mo- na mom. Pero nag-join nga ako ng Jiven. Um, marami talaga akong natutunan. As in, totally wala akong background sa real estate. Pero nung nag-join, nakaka-attend ko ng mga PPS and mga important talaga yung pagpunta rin sa mga yung site orientation, yan. Doon ako talaga nag-start. Okay. Yung, um, actually, yung first sale ko nga, ano yun, nag-start ako, uh, I think May ako nag-graduate ng dream, okay. 2015. Tapos yung first sale ko was September. Okay. Kaya ba- lang, after a few months, kaya lang, after a few months, parang back out. Kaya sabi ko, nag-back out. <laughs> after nung, uh, nung nag-back out, siya, after two months, nakabenta naman ako ng December. So, nagsunod-sunod okay. din. And, And yun na, nag-start na talaga. Na-enjoy ko na talaga yung ano, um, pag-real estate. And yun nga, ngayon nga, syempre, meron tayong uh, naka-lockdown tayo. Hmm. And kahit pa paano, uh, thankful ako kasi before talaga nag-lockdown, na-release yung <laughs> commission ko na medyo malaki na, na nas- hindi ko nagagasto. Sinave ko siya talaga. Naka, merong na credit sa ATM ko na ano na parang six digits din yata. Wow, well, that's good. Six digits. Eh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, naka Pero yung oh yeah, only for kay sa ko ay nako okay na to na kasi meron akong pang-emergency ko talaga. Oy, well, that's good. Thank you very much for that. Uh, <laughs> I thank you. Thank uh, you po sa na nag-process. <laughs> testimonial. Ay hindi ko expect yeah. na uh, ganun. Uh, so yeah, it's good, no? So as you can see that you know driven delivers its promise and when he did talagang Naman, as long as, again, you also deliver your promise to your client, no? natutulungan mo sila, oh, masabit yung mga oh, documents, yeah. ma-approve yung loan nila, uh, makalipat. Makakakomisyon ka talaga eh. So, syempre, hindi naman tayo yeah. makakakomisyon. <laughs> so, thank you, Net, for Apa. your Apa. quick share. No? I just want to share this to to people so that uh, they would know 
No? So thank you very much. Yeah. I'll go back to okay, my but... ano, to my video na. So yun, just a few thank you. people sharing para at least magkaroon din tayo. May nagkatanong kung recorded daw to live po ito. Ayan. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, this is a live feed from Zoom. But if you're watching this in a recorded fashion, that's also fine. Um, so I'll go back to my slides. Okay, so again, ito yung mga kinikita. Sabi nga ni Net kanina, oh, biglang may pumasok na six figures sa sa bank account niya. No? So, um, because, yeah, for the top sellers, some of the top sellers are already processing it ng, ano na, ng cashless na. Ganon. So, pasok na kagad sa account. Yun. So, ang tanong, DJ, paano ba to? Yes, excited na ako. Gusto ko rin kumita niya on how and what will I do no, for, for me to be able to to achieve that. No? So, excited na ba kayong malaman? Excited na ba kayong mag-start? Comment below so that I would know. And the first thing that you need to do is just focus. One to three projects or one to three developers. Um, the, the challenge with Driven, ang dami nating pwedeng ibenta. Diba? We have Metro Manila, Bulacan, Cavite, Laguna, and multiple projects. But, so you, you might be, and you will be tempted to sell a lot. However, the best of the best only focus in a few and aim to be the top producer or makilala sila doon sa, sa, sa project na yon. Kasi pag master mo yon at sa'yo lahat na pupunta ng inquiry, tapos nagpapa-assist pa sa'yo, lalo na laki yung kita mo. Ang hirap nung... The, the challenge with real estate kasi is, pag marami kang pag-aaralan, it will take really time, tapos hindi po, tapos lahat pag-aaralan mo paano ibibenta, lalo kang hindi makakabenta. So dito, the name of the game is really focus. If you focus on one to three projects na gustong gustong gusto mong ibenta. Ganun yun eh. Yung alam mo, good deal. Yung alam mo, kung may pera ka lang, bibili ka dun. Yung ganun. And you saw yung competition, ito talaga yung best for you. If you do that, makakabenta ka. I, I, I guarantee you because that's what I do. Right? You focus and look for good deals. Um, lalo na sa panahon ngayon. I would say, again, that bababa ang property prices. There will be, it will, there, it will take a hit. Right? It may not be a crash, but it will take a hit a bit at the very least. So there will be projects na, uy, good deal to, maganda tong ibenta. At dahil maganda tong ibenta, dapat mauna ka. Diba? Dapat sa'yo mauna yung, mauna sa'yo yung balita. Mauna ka sa balita, ganyan. And then, lagi kang may update. So it's like really, kasi it's marketing and advertising. Imagine if you're watching, if you wanna buy a burger, kanino ka bibili ngayon? Let's say, nagutom ka. Kay Jollibee ba? Or kay Tropical Hut? Diba? Most likely, may isip mo kay Jollibee. Kasi lagi sila nag advertise Ganun din. Dito, this, it is, this is the same. You have to continuously advertise so that when the buyer is ready and looking for a property, ikaw yung makita nila. E kung patutulog-tulog ka lang dyan, once mo lang siya gagawin. Diba? So, um, medyo may hirapan. Ganun. Next is prospecting. Um, kailangan talaga maghanap ka ng prospect. Sa KKK mo, sa lahat ng kakilala mo and ng network mo, i-approach mo na sila. Kakilala, kaibigan, kaklasi, lahat ng K. Ayan. Also, online advertisements. This is the game changer. Right? And the great equalizer. No? Kahit wala ka masyadong kakilala na bibili, mas marami yung hindi mo kakilala na bibili. So, nasaan sila? Naka-online sila. Di ba? Sa panahon ngayon, lalo na ngayon, walang time ang tao kung hindi tumingin online. Wala silang time lumabas. O hindi sila pwedeng lumabas. Nasa online yung mga yan. Dapat, visible ka. Para during the time na ready na sila, ikaw yung first person in mind. Or, nakita ka nila ngayon, dapat makita ka rin nila during the time na bibili na sila. So, tuloy-tuloy dapat ang advertisements, no, posting sa one property, and then sa Facebook, share mo, YouTube if you can do um, videos. And then, also referrals. You can ask for referrals sa mga kakilala mo, sa mga natripping mo na hindi bumili, tsaka sa mga bumili. Yun. That's what you can do. What you can also do is, you can copy this, you can screenshot this, you can take a picture of this slide, and then type this in your Facebook wall once in a while, kahit once a month man lang, 
And tell the world, wag kang maging secret agent. Tell the world that you are a salesperson of Driven. And you can help them find a house or a condo that fits their budget. Ang maganda sa atin, medyo marami tayong options. So, sa mga kaibigan mo, pwede kang mag... Pwede mo silang hanapan. Baka sakaling may makita tayo. Again, may mga imposibleng hinahanap like 5,000 a month sa Metro Manila. Eventually, you would know magkano yung price range. Okay lang yan. And then you post on fill in the blanks. I'm focusing in Metro Manila area or Cavite area ba yan? Laguna area or Bulacan area. Lagi mo. sa mo gusto mag-focus? Ideally, dun sa lugar mo. Either, gato lang naman pumili eh. Either dun sa lugar mo kung saan ka nakatira or sa area of work mo, or sa lugar na kabisado mo, kunyari doon ka lumaki. For example, lumaki ka ng QC, pero lumipat na kayo ng Cavite. Gusto mo mag-focus sa QC, okay lang yun. Ganon. And then, yeah, just post this. Um, try try different versions as well. Siyempre ito, uh, parang generic version to. You can try this, and then eventually, maybe you can PM your your friends as well. Diba? Mas, 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 uh, mas maganda rin yung PM kasi mas personal siya kesa yung sa wall mo lang. Diba? So maybe do both. And I wanna remind you, wala namang ibang training sa prospecting kung hindi every day you should be prospecting and 90% of your time should be in prospecting. Meaning, kung wala kang inquiry, dapat nag ads ka. Kung wala nag inquire sa ads mo, hindi ka nagtitripping, dapat nagpi-PM ka, nagyayaya ka ng kliyente mo na tignan yung project. Ganun eh. Wala namang iba. Dapat naghahanap ka ng kausap or ng potential na tao na nabibili ng bahay or kondo na binibenta mo. Also, you have to continuously learn. Again, attend PKS or Product Knowledge Seminar. I already mentioned that. Even na-complete mo na yung passport, even na-complete mo na yung checklist na ibibigay namin sa inyo, Tuloy pa rin. Kasi if you want to learn a new project, you have to attend their PKS, you have to attend site orientation. And then monthly, once a month, we have an assembly, go to the office, attend driven trends. Kasi you get an update. Tsaka mahalaga rin yung napupunta ka lang ng opisina. Di ba? Hindi naman pwedeng lagi na lang work away from office na lang lagi. Di ba? Maganda rin yung nakakabond mo yung mga staff, kilala mo yung marketing staff natin, yung marketing manager natin para alam mo. Alam mo yun, pag friends kayo, mas madali kanyang suportahan. Ganon. Diba? So, connect with them. Kung friends kayo ng accounting department, mas maalala nila yung pangalan mo. Diba? Mas mariremind ka nila. Ganyan. Of what you need to do para ma-release ka agad yung commission. Mga ganon. Yun. So, it's just that simple. Now, my question is, are you excited to start now? Diba? If excited ka na, maybe your question is, what's my next step? So, the next step is this. You add your broker or the person who invited you in Facebook. Kung, kung okay na kayo, um, you ask this person to add you to, to their Facebook group. Kasi sigurado mayroon yung Facebook group na separate. And then also, you register your one property account. No? So itong, itong nag-invite sa'yo, most likely mayroon yung link for you to register sa one property. So ask for the link. Uh, use that link para at least mayroon siyang points. Ikaw rin kasi pag you, when you share your your one property account sa iba, yung link mo. May points ka rin. You can use that kasi to advertise, to boost your ads. So, we help one another. That's fine. Yun. And then, uh, schedule an interview with your broker. Mag-interview kayo. Mag one-on-one -on -one man lang kayo or one in small group. Mag -schedule. Ngayon, gamitin na natin tong time na to. Mag-Zoom meeting na rin kayo, di ba? Ayan. And then, at the, at the end of the day, prospecting wins the game. Kahit anong galing mo, kabisado mo yung project, ang ganda ng pictures mo, kung hindi ka nag advertise or hindi ka nag alok walang mangyayari. So always remember, may two types of prospecting. Passive prospecting, which is online ads making, magpo-post ka, maghihintay ka na magi inquire Tsaka active prospecting, which is ikaw naman yung mag-offer. You talk to your friends, you know, and ito, this is a big learning for me kasi ang dami kong kaibigan. As I mentioned, when I started, wala pa silang pambili. Hanggang hindi ko na sila inoferan, nung nakikita-kita na kami ulit, ang dami, most of them nakabili na ng kondo, hindi sila sa akin bumili. Kasi nakalimutan nila na nasa property ako, di ba? Yun. E marami ako mga, mga classmates, kondo yung binili. E focus on house and lot. No, during that time, ganun. So, hindi nila alam. Pwede rin ako magbenta ng kondo. So, dahil hindi ko sila inoferan, hindi sila bumili sa akin. Nasayang yung benta. Sayang yung kita. Di ba? So, because people will buy. Kung ikaw nga may pera ka, bibili ka eh. So, it's not a matter of if. 
it's a matter of when you will buy. So dapat, when the client is ready to buy, you are there. You are the first thing in mind. Ganon. Yun lang naman eh. So, um, in this business, it's not about uh, whether may bibili o wala. May bibili. May bibili talaga. Ang tanong is, kapag bibili na yung bibili, sino yung ready? Sino yung online? Sino yung nandito pa sa industry? Diba? I never left this industry because I know this is a forever living industry. Ganun yung mangyayari. It will grow um, it will go up and down. Ganun talaga. May, may mga times mahina, may mga times na malakas. Pero one thing I like about real estate is isang benta mo, malaki yung kita. Diba? As I mentioned earlier, first sale ko in this business, 3.4 million. It gives me around 81,000 net commission. It's already five to six months worth of my salary kung nagpumasok ako sa employment when I was a newly grad. Diba? So, why would I use my time in employment as an industrial engineer? I'm an IE by profession. I would earn 12,000 a month back then if I can make 81,000 in one sale. Kahit pahintayin ko yan ng two years. Diba? Magbenta lang ako ng marami. Ganun yung ginawa ko. So, um, Nag-prospect lang ako, nag-prospect lang ako, nag-prospect lang ako. That's what I did. And, you know, that's what just you need to do. There will be ups and downs. There will be times, marami kang inquiry. There will be times wala. Ang question is, pag wala kang inquiry, sabi, meron ka lang maling ginagawa or kulang na ginagawa. Kasi, may nakakabenta eh. May bumibili. ba? So, it's just a matter of mindset. Right? So, I'll open this floor for question and answer. As well, you can type in the comment section and I will answer it uh, when I read it. So that's, that's good. And also, um, before I answer your questions, you might want to go in this link as well. Take the picture of this link. You go to bit.ly slash askdjre. R is for real estate. Um, for, for you to answer, what's your number one or your biggest question when it comes to real estate today? No, I just want to know so that if there are things that you will put there that I haven't answered yet, then probably I can create another video so that I can answer or address those, those concerns or questions that you have in mind. All right, so um, that's, that's it. Thank you very much. Welcome to Driven Marketing Group. We will be putting you in a new Facebook group. So Driven will, is having three Facebook groups three groups. So we, we have three levels. So that level, um, kailangan mo gumraduate doon. The requirement will be to pass, to complete the driven passport. After that, you will be going to level two and then to level three. And also, do we have a group in one property. So one property is like a Facebook for real estate. So you can post, post ads there and then you can build a community. So we will also add you there. And please be active there because the only way to earn credits that you can use to post ads is answer in forums, post um, discussions, ganyan, in one property. When you have discussions or when you reply to, to, to questions or to forums, you earn credits, you earn points technically that you can use to boost your ads and renew your ads. So, uh, yun yung sistema ng one property, the people who are more active, they will be the ones to really have better ads and will make a lot of sales. So, I, I'm opening this uh, for questions, please type in your questions and I will answer it um, in a while. 